Today in the news we get some prices, a lack of USB-C, and big games. What's up guys, I'm Beardless Snows and this is your boot sequence. It seems like we have a new leak on the Core i9-9900K. It was seen on Amazon US with a price tag of $582.50. Not only do we have a leak on the price, which might be incorrect, but we'll talk about that in a few seconds, but what an interesting packaging. I mean, it seems like Intel is taking a cue off of AMD's Threadripper's line of fancy boxes. With that leak, we also get some confirmations regarding the clock speed of the CPU at up to 5 gigabytes. Gigahertz, although that is likely for one or two of the eight cores. Just a quick recap of what we know so far of the 9th gen Intel top end, the 9900K has a base frequency of 3.6 gigahertz with boost of 4.7 on all the cores, 4.8 on four cores, and five gigahertz on up to two cores. All that in a TDP of 95 watts. The 9700K turns off hyper threading, has the same base clock of 3.6 gigahertz with boosts of 4.8 4.6 gigahertz on all cores, 4.7 on four cores, 4.8 on two cores, and 4.9 gigahertz on one core with the same 95 watt TDP. The latter also has 12 megabytes of cache instead of 16 like the 9900K. All evidence points to this generation not having a six core 12 thread CPU, which is a little odd. I guess Intel could just keep the 8700K in circulation. What do you think is the reason for the lack of a six core hyper threaded CPU. I mean, it could be because performance compared to the eight core eight thread CPU is similar, or maybe it's because they couldn't squeeze out much more power out of the 8700K, although the 8086K exists. If that is their reasoning though, why do we still have a six core six thread CPU? Anyways, let me know what you think down below. As for the price of 582.50 for the i9, Amazon often has weird pricing like that, and it's likely that the CPU will be closer to the sub 550 range since we've previously seen leaks around 500 to 550 dollars all right let's get into in case you didn't know it seems like not only the Surface Pro 6, but also the Surface Laptop 2 will be lacking in the USB-C department. German website WinFuture claims that both devices will stick to Mini DisplayPort and the Surface connector to connect displays. This claim would match the leaked photos that appeared of the Surface Laptop 2 a few weeks ago. WinFuture also claims that the base model of the new laptop will support 8GB of RAM, an Intel Core i5, and 128GB of SSD. The last Surface laptop only had 4GB of RAM in its base form, so it's a welcome upgrade. The Surface Pro 6 is reported to still ship with 4GB of RAM on its base model, and it's keeping the Core M3 on its base model. Also, apparently both the new Surface laptop and the Surface Pro are going to come in a black variant. That's pretty neat. Then we have Bungie, which filed a trademark for a possible new project. The trademark is for the word Matter, classified as a video game software and electronic game services provided by means of the internet or other communication network. Basically, it's probably a video game. Reason why I say probably is because that second classification could be something like a game store or an online service like Origin Access Premier. The filing also had this colorful image with it. Maybe it's a placeholder logo or something? Moving on, as you might have heard, the new iPhones are having some issues charging. Over the weekend, Lou from Unbox Therapy decided to do a little test of his own to see if the issue people were reporting were correct, and wow, it actually is a pretty big deal. If you connect your 10s or 10s Max to charge and you don't wake up the screen, it will likely not charge. Personally, I don't plan on upgrading my phone since it does everything that I want, but it's small issues like that that could really annoy me. I'll leave a link down below if you want to see the full video yourself, there's some other wild issues regarding charging that Lou explores more in depth. In gaming, we got a tiny sneak peek at what the Halloween event for Overwatch will be. For the first time, it seems like it will not take place in Eichenwald, but rather on the free-for-all map Chateau Guillard. I could be wrong though, and this could just be a new skin for the map, but it would be pretty unoriginal for them to use the same map and mode three years in a row. By the way, if you haven't already, I'm suggesting that you take a look at Torbjorn on the PTR. He's got a sweet new kit with a brand new ultimate and a 
turret that you can throw out like a projectile. I tried it out over the weekend and he's gotten pretty fun to play. Well, he's just different. And lastly, we got a new gameplay trailer for Red Dead Redemption 2. And I've got to say that the graphics on this game look absolutely gorgeous. Also, the game is apparently going to take a little over 100 gigabytes of space on your device. While I get that games are getting bigger for various reasons, graphics being one of the main culprits, 100 gigabytes is a lot. I mean, shouldn't we have like a choice? I wouldn't mind sacrificing some graphics to save some space on my drives. As you can probably tell, I'm a little bit sick, so I'm sorry if my voice has been annoying, but hopefully you still enjoyed the news. Don't forget to drop me a like down below and to check out this video right here. This is uh, our Friday's video right here. You can click on that and subscribe to the channel by clicking right here. <coughs> I think I got a little too frosty during the weekend. Uh, thank you all for your birthday wishes, by the way. That was uh, heartfelt. Thank you very much. It was greatly appreciated. Stay frosty and I'll try to warm up, but stay frosty and I'll see you on the next one.